ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about Terror Fire. Terror Fire is a movie from the 90s. It's a movie about a clown that is a killer and killed many people. Explicit and explicit with so much blood and so much, you know, you know, monstrosity and, 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 and it's so disgusting to watch for those of you who are sensitive to blood and organs and hearts and worms and roaches and all this. But, and Arda Clown suicide and he survived here in the second one because I'm going to talk about the new Terrifier, the Terrifier 2 that I just watched. I just watched it because as many as you know, and many people that know me, I'm a big fan of terror, horror, of this kind of films. I loved it. It's like my everyday meal. But, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about Terrifier 2. But before I talk about Terrifier 2, trigger warning, quick, quick, very quick. This is not for kids. Again, this is not for kids. So if you're surrounded by, by, by children and kids, don't watch this video, or if you're gonna watch it, watch it by yourself and move the kids away. And if you're gonna watch it with your kids, under your own responsibility. Again, under your own responsibility because this is I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about this with really explicit details since I cannot show a lot of images because YouTube you know how it is and I don't want the video to get blocked. So let's get to a terrifier two, ladies and gentlemen. Terrifier two. Uh, a lot of YouTubers talked about it, and I want to talk about it too. Terrifier 2 is a movie that caused, in a personal level, caused a lot of uh, people to pass out and vomit and cry. And even people ran out of the movie theaters, you know, watching the movie Terrifier 2. There was a lot of TikTokers and all that stuff making a big deal about it. But with TikTokers and other internet influencers, I don't really pay attention to that because a lot of times I do it for the sweet money and, 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 and the attentions and the views and the like, you know, but the rest of the situation, personal situation about people running out of the theaters and all that stuff, that really happened, that is possible, people really, really, really exaggerated about it and really, you know, ran out of the theaters and all that, but the reason why it's exaggerated is because, you know, a lot of people are really sensitive to blood and really disgusting, you know, body part stuff and roaches and all that only to people who are sensitive and are not used to watching this kind of films um, but ladies and gentlemen Terrifier 2 it starts simple it starts with Art the Clown he, he's alive he's at the hospital you know one of uh, the doctors at the hospital he comes out with a blood dripping like it was dripping on red blood all over his neck all over his mouth and he was just like just dripping of the red blood all over his lips and a throat and it's just dripping and then Arda Cloud comes out you know Arda Cloud as many as you know he comes out with his costume and his you know face paint and his sharp teeth and his blood all over his face There's so much blood all over his face he comes out kills the guy and Many different ways, really explicit, that I'm not gonna show here because of YouTube, but I'm gonna describe it to you. First of all, he goes, takes, punches him with, with, with a hammer or something, he punches him so hard, and with a knife, cuts him right in his in his eye, because he realized, Articon realizes, he looks in the mirror, realizes he doesn't have an eye on, on him. So he takes that doctor's eye, he takes a sharp knife, Pulls it in his eyes, pulls it, pulls it, and pulls it in his eyes really deeply. Starts bleeding and dripping blood, like shooting up blood of his eyes. Pull the eye out slowly, slowly of the, you know, of, of his eye, and then pulls it out. He's dead. You know, he puts on the eye on himself. He just slowly puts parts of his eyes on. The part that where he doesn't have eye, with all that blood, and you can hear with that and all that sound, and he puts it in there. Uh, then he goes and he starts punching him, punching him. And he grabs a hammer, hits it with the hammer, and he's with all his uh, demonic strength. He opens up 
opens up his, 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 his skull, take out his, his, you can see his brain, there's a bleeding skull in his head, you can see his brain inside of it, he takes his brain, pulls it out, and there's, you can see so much blood, there's so much blood, the, the blood and the brain pulls out, pulls out, you can see so much blood in it. And so much, so much blood. And then he takes it, puts it on the trash bag, and then caught, caught him in pieces, puts it on the trash bag. Then he goes to the laundry, or you know, the typical American laundry. He goes to the laundry, goes there, you know, you see a guy sleeping there, you know, the typical crackhead, you know, the typical Brayton, Florida crackhead. He's sleeping on it. He goes, he's taking his clothes off, he's completely naked, completely naked, full of blood. Oh. Completely naked, full of blood. Take his clothes out, put it on the on, on the laundry, put it on the washing machine. Boom, 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 boom. Then he sits down, and then he sees what would it be and would it become on the movie. He's partnered in crime. Why? Because close up this little girl that would be like, let's say, let's call her his daughter, because. You know, a little girl looking like him. So here in the prosecutors, we're gonna call it uh, Mini Terrifier. Mini Terrifier, his daughter. And he looks just, just like him, smiles at him. She sits, he sits down, he sees her, smiles at her. Then she start, you know, puking. He starts shitting diarrhea, like really, really, really dark and with still diarrhea. And you can see it all over the floor. You know, it's all over the floor. So it's like, let's say it's a way of, you know, let's say she likes him, and it's a way of, you know, she, of her being cute about it. She, she just lets go her, her her diarrhea. Like, she's actually just coming out of her, her butt and all that diarrhea all over the floor. And you can see the diarrhea. It's not censored. The moon's not censored at all. You can see it all over the floor. They start playing. You know, so playing this typical game, they, they probably don't know, I don't know what's it called, I never played it, you know, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, the kids just played it, it's just played it, you know, they played it, they, they, they play a little game, and then they, they, uh, start, you know, start playing little hand games, you know, that typical kids in kindergarten or first grade would play, so they start playing with it. Uh, the, the, the typical guy, the guy that's sleeping on the laundry, you know, the typical break on floor and a crackhead. He wakes up and he's easing. He's naked, full of blood, he's easing. He's fucking weird out, like, well, this, this, this guy, you know, he, he's easing. And all of a sudden, you know, he kills the guy. He grabs, I think it's an axe. Bam! Straight on his head. It's like I'm talking about the, the, the knife. I think the knife of that. It's like imagine it just, you know, across his brain and it's just bleeding his head. And it is the uh, bleeding his head. So you know that happens. And he comes. He takes the trash bag. You know, because he, he he just closes clean. He puts it on. Takes the trash bag. Boom! He gets out. Oh. Um, then they switch to the scene where you can see the daughter, uh, the daughter, uh, Senia, 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 you can see Senia and Jonathan. And there's a daughter and the, and the brother, Senia and Jonathan. You know, the mother, you know, she's the typical, you know, American mother that she's restricted and this and that, you know, restricted and all that stuff with the kids. And, you know, she, she, she's working for the kids, but at the same time, she's kind of a dickhead. And she's just, you know, so. They start having dinner and this and that and prepare themselves for dinner. You know, they started getting for Halloween. Remember, it's October 31st. They're getting ready for Halloween because the Arctic Clown kills on Halloween. So they start getting ready for Halloween. You know, she started designing her, her, her clothes, you know, really, really sexy. This is for all the horny people, for all the horny guys out there. You know, she is this really sexy, you know, good looking, you know, romance. Angel, guardian angel, kind of really sexy uh, outfit that she's screaming, you know. And, and I'm gonna put it here on the screen for other horny motherfuckers, but you know, she got this uh, really nice 
clothing was so nice, really sexy looking. It's like, you know, she want to make sure you lick your fingers off. So, you know, she's like, because it's Halloween, she's like, we know that. They have, they just sit down for dinner and then they start talking about Halloween. Uh, basically, she, uh, Senior talks about Halloween party. She wants to go to a Halloween party and all that stuff. You know, the typical high school Halloween parties in high school that they do. I don't know. A lot of drinking and a lot of fucking. You, 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 if you know, you know. Um, anyway, she wants to go to the party, whatever, talk to her mom about it. Blah, blah, blah. But before that, they have dinner. And Jonathan, their, 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 this son, her brother, uh, they're talking about Halloween and their costumes on Halloween. And Jonathan, he, he comes and said, I'm, I wanted to dress up as Art the Clown. Now, Senior looks at him straight in the eye goes, don't do that, that's extremely disrespectful. You know, the mother's not aware. She's, she's not even, like, the mother's in, the whole, in her own fucking world, you know. Every single mother out there that's watching this, you know, if you know, you know. You, you know, when you're in your own fucking world and, like, you're paying attention to so many things that, that, that that's not including on the package. Just think about so many things on the package that... The only thing that's not included on that package is just the just, just stupidity of your kids because you worry some, about so many things, you know, and all that stuff. And at, every single mother, if you know, you know. But, you know, she, she, she's not aware of that, so she asked about that. They go, um, she asked about that. The senior and the senior tells her, you know, he wants to dress up as a guy that killed 90 people, you know, killed a bunch of people back in the past and, and, and suicide, you know, basically, or some crazy cycle of demonic guy or whatever. And so the mother goes and so and the mother goes and says, you know, don't do that, blah 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 blah. You don't see it's like it's like by you doing that it's disrespectful, but it's because in reality you don't see people dressing up as Jeffrey Dahmer and and, and, and Charles Manson and, 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 and all that stuff and then Jonathan goes, You guys are exaggerating, you're making a deal, blah 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 blah, just a costume, whatever. But you see that the that the uh that the, the Jonathan is obsessed with this. He goes on the computer, he's not looking for stuff that, you know, we normal teenagers back in middle school or high school looked at, you know, gaming or porn. But, <laughs> but he's not looking at that, he's looking at, uh, uh, you know, he's looking at, um, he's looking at uh, serial killers. He's looking at serial killers. He's, these people, you know, they used to kill with other people. Art the Clown, information about Art the Clown. He's looking at all those information. And seeing how the sister gets picked out. She goes, talks to the mother in the kitchen, goes, like, uh, I don't like the fact that, you know, Jonathan is just looking at this stuff. You know, it's kind of kind of creepy. And so the mother, you know, she defends Jonathan and justifies it. And goes, you know, what you were a little girl. You did this, you did that, you did that. And nobody says shit about it. So Jonathan is fine. You know, not everyone. And the daughter goes, Okay, you know, the typical daughter that doesn't want to have an argument with the mother anymore, so she shuts the fuck up, whatever. You know, I have a stubborn mother, whatever. And so, whatever. And so that's when later on, you know, after that, you know, she, she goes to sleep, has a nightmare. She's an art clown. Art clown, you know, welcome to the clown cafe, you know, the, the clown cafe dreaming nightmare she had. And art clown, she, she comes out. It's completely famous in this dream, which is a nightmare. People love to know, oh, you're the clown, let's go, yeah, you're the clown, you're the clown, you're the clown. Uh, people are in love with this demonic figure, and they're not scared of him, so well, they, they, he comes out, or the clown comes out with a trash bag, and start giving kids candy, you know. Candy, lollipops, and candy, sorry. Candy, and lollipops, and candy, you know, and, and, and caramels, and chocolates, and all that stuff, and... The senior who's in that nightmare, which is a nightmare, after falling asleep watching television, she's um, he hands to her out a box, like you know when Amazon comes in and put, you know, hands to you the box at your front door. He hands to her a box, a box. He, she, she's scared because she knows who he is. She, she. She saw him in the past, she went through in the past. And she can believe he's alive. And if, and if she doesn't think he's alive, maybe, maybe, maybe she's, she can't believe she's having that nightmare. So 
He hands to her that box. She takes the box, opens it up. She, but first she's like, no, 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 she's shaky and afraid. But you have this crazy killer clown in your face with sharp teeth. I mean, we're not, this is not it, you know, this is worse than it. For me, it was boring, this is, this was a little more fun than it, so. You know, she's, she's looking at her, you know, and she goes, and he goes, like he wants her to take it, goes, with an with a evil face in his, in a, a picture in his face, he goes, he wants her to take it, and so she takes it, opens it up, knowing that there's a lot of idiots around, you know, the fucking idiots around don't have no idea that he's a demonic, a powerful, evil, powerful killer clown, and they just idiots about it, and you know, you know today's world, they just idiots about it, and hey, she opens up that little box, and yeah, she's gonna get killed, yeah, <laughs> and she opens the box. Why she sees in a box? A heart. You know, like typical heart from you and me. A heart. A heart. And in that heart, there is. It's disgusting. It's, sorry for those of you who are eating, but it's it's a heart. And it, it's there's worms in it, and, and, and insects and worms all over it. And it's, the, the dark liquid coming out of a dark liquid coming out of the heart like it, like water and sushi and it's just worms and all that and it's full of um, all this black liquid and it's and then it sparks on her it sparks on her and that's when Art the Clown pulls out and everybody's watching that everybody's going like yeah and that's when Art the Clown pulls out I think it's an AK-47, I think it's an AK, one of the big guns. He pulls out the gun and he shoots everybody. <laughs> shoots everybody and then it, just, it hits, you know, it hits everybody, and kills everybody. You can see the bloods and, and it's the bloods, the, 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 the organs coming out of the, the, the pails, of just like their, their skin, you know, the flesh, it's just, the flesh is coming out. And all that. This is, you know, everybody, everybody uh, dies. You know, she's just scared. She sees that. She's trying to walk away from him. She's trying to wake up, so she just walks away from it on a dream. And then he goes. She goes to this mini kitchen table set because, you know, this, the nightmare about, was about a commercial called Clown Cafe. So the, the, it was a setup commercial. So they have this. Back set up dinner uh, breakfast table and on a fake set up kitchen and where a kid was eating cereal called Art Krispies, which was a cereal with worms, a cereal with worms, it was a cereal mixed with worms, really like mini little worms that were just going through it, walking through it. Uh, and the kids were eating that and was like, eat good, 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 that we all the ones in it. So she walks to that setup table. The kid is dead. Blood coming out of his mouth, like dripping of his lips and mouth full of his shirt and all that. You could see the crispy cereals full of blood liquid. Like, you know, when you're eating cereal and you have milk, but let's Instead of milk, it was blood, and you can see worms, really explicit, and just walking full of worms, and see her walking through it. She gets scared, she grabs a box, she's trying to grab something inside the box. And inside that box, she's trying to grab a source that her father, basically, it was a source that was connected to this little drawing diary that her brother did to a story of who is gonna kill the, or the clown. And that's when, you know, when that's what she's trying to pull out. You know, that's where she has the source, right? She's trying to pull out the source. That's where she has the source. She has a source in her dresser, which was all about this theory connected, which was going to be the one that was going to kill Art the Clown, which at the end she did. But let's not get ahead. She pulls out the source. She's trying to pull out the source, 
and that's when Arne Clown sees her and because he's setting he's setting people on fire. Boom. He's trying to set her on fire. She woke up from the nightmare and her dresser was light off on fire. And the wings she created for her sexy outfit were destroyed. So the mother comes in, turns out the vial, she was like, Oh what the fuck? Yo, yo why you have fucking uh, candles and light up on I don't fucking dress her, what are you fucking stupid? Whatever mother is going wild about it and she goes she goes it wasn't she's freaked out and she was like it wasn't me it wasn't me she was like oh and she was like oh if so it wasn't you what it was what it was and she just kept going blah 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 and um she goes okay go to bed whatever and uh she freaked out because she saw him on a tree and she goes, okay, bed, whatever. And, uh, she's freaked out cause she saw him on a tree so the next day whatever they go to school whatever jonathan is in love with this lady this lady reject him uh, Jonathan gets in trouble for playing with dead animals on school and the next day Jonathan comes to his school and he sees Art the Clown and the lady, the, 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 the Art, Art the Clown's daughter, li, li, mini terrifier, it's his mini terrifier and Art the Clown and, and they're playing with the dead animal, the, the dead raccoon, dead animal they saw on school before and they start playing with it they start eating from it. They're opening it up, and they, like you can, Articon pulls out his his ribs. You know, he pulls out. His, you can, oh, it's really explicit. He pulls out his the, ribs, everything beside inside his body parts. Pulls it out. Strange it. You know, he's just he flexes it like this, and then he, he gives it to. Mini terrifier and mini terrifier start eating it. She start eating it. She goes, and she start and you can tell you she's eating it. Just imagine it. she's eating it and the blood is dripping off her mouth and you can they show you closely how she's eating it and how how how, how it's, it's just disgusting. Jonathan gets scared, walks away, runs away. Yeah. Then he gets in trouble, suspended for bringing dead animals to school. Mother got uh, uh, mad as hell. She goes, "Go to your room. I don't want to hear no more. Oh, more no more coming out of your mouth." And gets grounded. Doesn't get the opportunity to dress out and go out for Halloween because of the supposedly dead animal that the mother thought everybody thought that he brought when it actually was just something made out of, of Art the Clown and Mini Terrifier just being demonic powerful powerful people uh because in the movie you know they have demonic powers because this is demonic powers you know they have these demonic powers and they do what they do so he 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 tells you know the sister she, you know, he, he tells her and um he goes oh Senia, I it just this and that and that and that and that and that and it was Art of Clown, you gotta believe him. Boom. Uh, Senia believes, Senia tells his mother I believe him. And it's, it's uh, you know, and, and Senia's mother and Jonathan's mother, they go, oh, I can fucking believe you. You believe this kind of crap too? Whatever. And she's just stressed out because she don't believe that there's really Art the Clown. And she she thinks he's dead and it's just sort of some sort of obsessive imagination from Jonathan for having this obsessive serial killer crazy cycle stuff and um boom At the end of the day she uh, Jonathan's mother you know she she tries to to convince Jonathan and all that stuff and talk to him about it and be like okay let's go downstairs let's chill out even if Jonathan's go no you gotta believe me this and that she, she her mother goes like let's not talk about this again I don't wanna hear a fucking word from you about this again whatever boom 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 boom, boom. they have an argument uh, she broke his drawing book, his drawing diary book, and the mother of Jonathan does that, and Jonathan goes, "You're such a bitch!" Boom! She snaps Jonathan. Jonathan runs out. Bam, 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 bam. The mother starts crying. She starts drinking more wine than ever. She loves wine. She starts drinking more wine than ever, and uh, she starts. She goes to the garage to only find her car destroyed with the name "Bitch" all over it. Um, destroyed with. You name it, just like, you know, the, the, the type of car that you don't want to see at your garage. So, she thinks Jonathan did it. So, she calls 
seen you at the party, blah, 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 he did this shit, you know, your brother, you're not fucking tired of this little fucking dude, whatever, blah, 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 blah. I, 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 I hope, you know, I hope he died, you know, the kind of attitude a really angry mother would have, I guess, uh, their kid when they do this kind of shit, thinking that he did it, but the point is, she starts cleaning, she sees her the clown, so she sees her the clown, and she was in, inside the car because she goes like this, cleaning the window, and she gets scared. She sees Arnie Clown. Arnie Clown looks at her with his sharp teeth, smile at her, pull out a gun, and blow her head off with a gun. That bullet was just she she, she blow her head like her head bloated. Like it wasn't like bad. The bullets got stuck and they just uh, like he, like you know it just. Bang and boom exploded. And she died. He's in that, you know. Jonathan come, comes back home because he gets scared because she starts seeing mini terrifier using her powers against him to scare him. He gets back home and that's when he sees Art the Clown. You know, he sees his mother head bowled off and you just see the hair over her, her face and he sees uh he, he sees her. And he gets scared. That's when he sees Art the Clown making dinner. You know, he's making mashed potatoes and meat love and a wine, a bottle of wine, and he feeds. And then he takes her blowing head, which you can see all the parts inside the all the organs, all the inside organs of the head, just dripping. Just imagine, just dripping. That's when Art the Clown. You know, he takes the mashed potatoes. Boom. Anyway, takes the mashed potatoes, puts it on her, on her face. All of a sudden, I think she puts it on, on, on his face, which is really disgusting. You can tell it is his face. And then later on, boom, he goes follow after Jonathan, try to kill him. Boom, 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 boom. He hits him. He cuts him with a knife. You know, try to opens it up. For the orgasms for him and many terrified to play with and feed themselves with and that's when you know that's when uh senior just she just she sees something's going on she goes back she tries to kill uh you know she sees jonathan you know uh, at the edge of the border of the dead you know it's closer to death so she sees she's about to die uh, he sees he's been attacked she attacks art the clown boom 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 bam, 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 bam. Fights him, boom, 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 with her sexy Roman angel outfit, boom, 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 and to the point that Art Clown defends himself back again, boom, tries to drown her, she almost like drowning in this little drowning cage, whatever, and boom, you know, she, she comes out, survive, boom, kills him, cut his head off, bang, and he dies. And there's a ride, and she's the hero of the story. She kills Art the Clown, but the there's a pro there's, there's end credits to it, and it's when there's a moment where they go to a hospital, where you they're they're at this they're at this hospital, you know, they're at this hospital, at this you know crazy mental institution hospital where the first victims of Art the Clown are, is there. For her crazy act of killing a TV host, it was so bad that she had to be put there for life. And so she is there, and they hear screamings. They go inside. They open the door and see the screamings of it. She's giving birth. She was pregnant. She's giving birth, and she's giving birth. And you can see the, the blood dripping out of her. You know her her, her private parts. You know her, her front part. There's blood and blood and blood. And you can see there's a big head coming out. Big head coming out of this blood. You hear the sound. Big head coming out. What do you think it is? The head of Art the Clown. Comes in out of her private part. Doing bird, and she's holding the hand. Doing bird with you know all that stuff, you know the blood and stuff. The the nurse gets paranoid and stuff. She freaks out. She leaves and boom, that's where the story ends. But now I'm gonna go to the the the, 
my uh, part of the movie, my little analysis of the movie. My analysis of the movie, what I think about the movie is, is it a fun movie? Is it a movie, a fun movie? Comparing to it, because I watch it, yes, it was really fun. Well, not that fun, but it was a little fun comparing, comparing to it. I mean, comparing to it, because comparing to other movies, it was a shit. Because I've seen a lot of, I've seen a lot of horror films, and comparing to this one, based on all the horror films besides it that I've seen, or the clown films, clown films that I've seen, you know, they're better than than than, than Terrifier. But comparing to it, I think it's good, you know, because it was pretty boring to me. I mean, there was. It was pretty. It was three hours. It was too long. I mean, I don't know if I watched the the, the the movie or the series, but the point is, it was three hours. It was too long and it was too boring. Um, and you know, Terrifier is I think it was better because Terrifier, you know, he had this. Uh, it was two hours of a film. It was two hours of a film, which the ending was too long. I think the ending was too long. Many YouTubers said it, I've said it, they're right, the ending was too long, I think there's too long of an ending, but, to be realistic with you, it was, comparing to it, it was a good movie, not the best movie to watch, because again, if you're sensitive to blood, if you're sensitive to orgasms, if you're sensitive to, to, to you know, organs and all that kind of shit, and, and if you're sensitive to diarrheas and boogers and all, uh, and if you're not used to watching this kind of stuff, then it's not for you. And again, this is not advice I'm going to give you. Do not let kids watch it. This is not for kids. If you're a single mother or a single father or a, or a family and you have kids, do not let them. This is not for kids. This is definitely not for children. This is a movie not for children. This is... I believe this movie could traumatize kids because this is too heavy. I mean, this is. I mean, it's a crappy movie. It's not the best movie to watch, even if it's a little fun. It's not the best movie to watch, but it's it's too heavy. The movie's too heavy. It's it's too heavy. It's too bloody. It's, it's if if you're sensitive to the stuff, don't watch. This. Seriously, and kids should not watch it at all either. I mean, kids should be away from this movie. That's what I'm saying. The movie was too, too heavy to a point that... That's what I'm saying. I cannot show a lot of images in there. But... Too heavy. Just too heavy. And and, and for the kids, this is not... And if you're a sensitive person... For kids or sensitive people... Stay away from this movie. Stay away from this movie because you don't want to watch this movie because this movie for you guys is too heavy. Me personally, uh, I watch the film because you know, I, I like horror, horror, terror stuff and horror stuff. So, you to me wasn't like it wasn't scary to me. And, you know, it wasn't scary to me. I and I'm not that sensitive either. But still, even in watch, I watched some some parts of the film when it was you know. Pulling like just like that, like it was pulling out and the scope was like, I was like, I got goosebumps. I was like, oh, you know, like, it was, it's still disgusting. And if you do not, if you're sensitive or you're with kids, uh, I forbid this movie for kids or sensitivity um, uh, from people, but there's a lot of countries that. Even there's other countries that you cannot watch this film. There's countries like in Spain and many others that this film right now is not allowed. But here in the United States, it became a big boom and it became controversy. And about the TikTokers, that's just that's not true because they, they just, I mean, they they see this. I, I've seen the TikTokers, you know, like I, I, I'm, 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 maybe I'm thinking they're like 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 this. They're, Let's go watch. We're gonna go today. Today we're gonna go, you know, and take that to watch the movie Terrifier. Let's go, let's go. We're gonna watch it. We're gonna watch it. We can't watch the movie Terrifier. Let's go watch it. And 
that was the movie Terrifier. Make sure you like and share my TikToks. Yeah. Something like that, because TikTokers, they're like that, something like that, so, you know, just, just like that. And, um, should I say, I'm just my dog talking, but it's just something like that. But basically, there's no, no point to to exaggerate about, about, about that stuff, so, you know, they can be exaggerating too much either. Uh, but... You know, it's it's for sensitive people. It's not a good movie either, and for kids, still not a good movie. They, they keep kids away from this movie. To every single mother, to every single father, to every family that that has kids, do not let kids watch this film. This is not a film for kids. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was the review of the movie Terrifier. I liked it. I'll give it a six, seven out of ten. Not because it's not the best thing either, but 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 it wasn't bad, you know. As, as a movie, for 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 if they want to make a movie really 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 demonically really, and their goal was to make a really evil demonically really disgusting movie, I think they completed that topic, and I think that the actor that played Terrifier, that that played Art the Clown, was, was a great actor. Was a, was a great actor wasn't that bad as, as an actor, as a, playing as a clown. I think it was, it's the best it of our generation and um, better than it. So that was it. Ladies and gentlemen, and me as a fan of horror and terror, wasn't the best thing but wasn't that bad either. This was this Brosca 2 TV. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Sorry for my dog barking. I apologize for that. I can't control that. You know how dogs are. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Leave a, leave a, a, a comment down below if you want to see more movie reviews. And for the new subscribers, welcome to the Brosketeers TV. I am Isaac, well known as Isaac and Isaac Cruz. A show produced by Ricardo Luna. Keep being subscribed. I really love that and appreciate that so much. Thank you very much. And we'll see you next video.